Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a video about how to make your instant slushy an instant slushy. But it's not as instant as you might think it is. Well, it takes a little longer than what you think. So what you're going to need is regular soda. Um, it would You can also use some that are room temperature, or you could use ones that have already been in your fridge. I think the ones in your fridge, because it won't take as long, if you use a room temperature one, you have to put it in the freezer for an hour and 30 minutes. If you don't use a room temperature one, it's already cold, it might take less. So once you went into the freezer, I just got, I mean, I got one out of the fridge. Still cold, you have to do this and shake it up. She got all those to get all the carbon and all that stuff until you can't hear anything else. And then you open up the fridge, shake it up a little bit more if you can. Shake it up until you know it's totally fizzed. So you put it in the freezer. Put a timer on your phone. You put a timer. <laughs> you put a timer on your phone for at least, I'd say, an hour. An hour and 30 minutes, because that's what I'm going to do. And, and then after that, all you're supposed to do is open the soda very slowly, and then you pour it. Oh, and you also have to have... Where is it? And this is something you cannot go without. You also have to have a um, metal, a metal um, container that you're gonna pour it into. So something like this, like this, something metal, a little bowl. You have to put this in the freezer too. You have to put this in the freezer as well, and do it for the same time. So then you have something cold to put it in. So then it'll be cold and then it'll last longer if you put it when you pour the soda in there. But don't forget to open the soda slowly and then pour it into the metal container. And then you will have an instant slushy. But thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it and show y'all next video. So bye!